Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. Before I explain you what we are going to cover in this video, let's take a look at these few videos. Here is the input image and here is the generated video after a prompt has been applied. This is another video where a bunch of images are related to a toy fireman and a prompt is added to make a new video based on prompt by combining these input video. And the third example is here where there is an input video and by adding a prompt or fusing a point, a prompt, this video has been converted into that while the subject has been uh, changed depending on the prompt, but the subject is preserved as it was in the original video. So these are the three video examples. Here are some of the example videos. In most of these videos, the text prompt has been added to edit the original video. The examples are related with all image where the image plus prompt has been converted into a video. And here some examples of combining or taking a bunch of images and converting them to a video by applying a new prompt. So the video which you have just seen are available through a new research project named Dreamix. Dreamix video diffusion models are the general video editors. So by using the video diffusion model, how we can enhance or advance the video editing. So in this research project, the idea is to either edit a video by using a source video or using a group of images and then edit them to convert the video, second option, and third, just using a single image and then converting it to video by adding this video editing method called Dreamix. So the Dreamix is basically the, the utilization of the diffusion video models to edit the videos. There are three use cases you can think. There is a video, so you already have a video. You may have a picture and that you would want to convert the video or you actually have a collection of images. So this is just a single image and this, these are the collection of images. And you want to use these three with the Dreamix video editing editor. You can take this image, pass it. If it's a single image, first you really need to distort it by playing with its perspective. So what you are going to take, you are going to take this image, try to add the perspective in a way that you are really going to get some kind of animation coming out of it. So that's modification will be needed and that will going to generate multiple frames required for the video and finally if you have these multiple images available then that can also be used so this is the place where the outputs coming out of either any of these methods will be consolidated into a video so if this video as it is video single frame distorted and perspective modified images and that's video and if you have multiple of images that actually construct a video. Once you have that video at the next step the Dreamix is actually is a diffusion video editor. So what it does it actually adds the diffusion and if you say that you are adding the diffusion basically you are adding the Gaussian noise in the source input. In this case it is, this is the image. Now Diffusion has been added at this point. The next step is to apply the, the Dreamix video processing engine. So once we apply the Dreamix video processing engine, plus there could be the prompt. And here will be your prompt. And now combining both of them, you are going to get your final video. And so by adding the prompt, and the Dreamix diffusion video process, you are going to get your final video. So this is your final video as the result, which you have seen in the previous examples. Now question comes, okay, what is happening here? 
the objective for us to learn what is happening here and that is next. So the process of mixed video image fine tuning is that the original video, this is the original video, this video is a collection of frames. So these are the different frames related with the video f1, f2, f3, f4, fn and these images are in order to pair. So very first thing what happened is that we take these and convert them to unordered pair. The mixed video image fine tuning happens in two separate modes. At one mode is these images are processed. So I will take these images and unordered pair. So this is now the unordered pair. So the, the logic behind is that if you are going to fine tune these images just as it is, you are not really going to get the, the motion or the, the extent uh, of motion change. So by using the unordered pair of these images and then applying the mixed video image means first is the unmasked temporal attention in first so I would say in first you have unmasked temporal attention in the phase one and then you can take this and in the same order of image you are going to apply the masked temporal attention so two different fine-tuning methods are used to create the dreamix based diffusion video editing and combining the unmasked temporal attention with the masked temporal attention in your video diffusion based video editing process you are going to see the results which you have just seen in the previous video so the concept of mixed video image fine tuning using the dreamix method we have just understood so that's all i have for you in this video when the source code for this project if and when will be available i will definitely share with you all that's all i have for you in this video appreciate your time and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next videos until then thank you so much for your time